What up? How's it going, guys? Yo. Hey, it's December... 19th. 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 Almost Christmas time, almost Kwanzaa, whatever else you may celebrate the holiday season. Krampus. Krampus. Um, I don't even know what that one is, but I've heard of it. Um, and uh, it's almost New Year, so we're, we're at the point now where we're just looking back on what we've been doing the past two and a half months and also starting to look forward to our goals for January 2017 and just you know, the next year of our, our lives here at the Freethinker House and being involved in the community. So today we really just want to give you guys an update on what we've been up to since we haven't done a video in a few weeks um, and where all our projects are at, where we're at individually and what we're doing with the house. So what you got going on? Okay, so <clears throat> past couple of weeks, I've been in the process of quitting Chase Bank and moving to a credit union. Um, there's a million reasons you might want to do this. Credit union is basically run the same way as a co-op, where all the members are actually members, of, or all the owners are the members of the bank. So they're working to benefit the people in the bank. We have all kinds of cool bonuses. Like most other credit unions do, they'll pay you back for ATM fees. Um, they're a lot more like transparent, so you can actually go online, see how much money they actually have in there, and if they're practicing fractional reserving or something like that, as opposed to Chase Bank, who's getting bailed out by the government, you know, and just really, they're not local to you, they don't care about you or your money, you know, why would you continue to support something that you don't support? There's, there's other options out there. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to transfer that over as well as helping these guys with projects. Uh, the past month we've been working on, as Johnny said, the kombucha, uh, brewing up some good flavors. I've been giving it out to several people who are active within the Freethinker community. Um, exchanging fruit, They've, a couple of people have fruit trees in their yard and they give us free fruit and we exchange it bar for kombucha. Uh, the micro sex. All the sex. <laughs> All the sex. Uh, the microgreens have not been a success so far because the light is diminished greatly and we don't have any grow lights yet. So right now we are in the process of getting some grow lights so that we can do it just so that it's reliable. We might have a donation on those soon. Yeah. Maybe. We'll see. Yeah. If, if we don't get that donation, then we'll just go ahead and buy some. Yeah. Um, but we have the bean. The beans are doing well, right? The peas. The peas. The peas. The peas. Yeah, we have sunflowers and radishes. They're not doing well. Sunflowers have mold all over them constantly. Radishes, not enough light. The peas are doing awesome. So if you want peas, hit us up. We can we can grow you your own plot, or you can just buy. However much, we'll work it out. Or if you have tips on why we're getting the mold. I mean, I think we we understand why we're getting it, but how to maybe prevent that? Anything like that? helpful but we're starting to do our first sales of crops because we have regular open mics now and events and we have a lady coming out joanna who makes pizzas so she gets our crops and turns them into toppings for pizza so that's our first our first buyer of our crops yeah yeah progress finally um what else so the kombucha, the microgreens. Are we gonna do a kombucha Skillshare soon? January? Yes, so look out next month, January. We haven't booked in a, a date finalized yet, but we will be doing a Skillshare for the kombucha because we have enough to do a, a 101 uh, Skillshare. I mean, it's, it's really easy to do the first brew. Um, the second brew, we haven't quite mastered it yet, but it's, it'd be kind of fun to all learn together and exchange knowledge. So we have the means to do it. You know, you just need to come along. Maybe it'll be like a ten dollar class or something. But you'll get to go away with at least ten bucks worth of kombucha. So cool. And so myself, I've been uh, one of the things I've, I wrote down on my, a list a while back that I wanted to check out was we have several trees here in the yard, and we know for sure we've got a pomegranate tree, um, and we've got a couple other big ones. 
I'm you know fairly good at identifying plants. Uh, I'm not really good with flowers. Really know nothing about trees. So that's something I personally want to lo- uh, learn more about. And I'm sure there may be even and I, people have told me there is an app that can help you identify trees. Or if any of you out there have information on that, that'll be cool. Because my goal with that is not only to know what we have here and on our property and. Um, that's, I think it's just good for awareness to know what you have available. We have the cactus, we've got the prickly pears and the pomegranates, so we know we can work with that. Uh, but I want to know what the trees are here. And then from there, we talked about getting mushrooms and there's several ways you can grow mushrooms from, you know, indoors or to the, on the bags, on the countertops, really easy. But I'd also like to experiment with growing out of logs. Um, plugging the logs with spores and so you know you need to identify the type of tree that you're gonna have the log um, and then different mushrooms grow better in different types of trees so gonna look into that and see if maybe some of the ones we have here we could use to grow certain types of mushrooms in and experiment with that Um, and also we have recently joined this app website nextdoor.com which definitely I recommend everyone checking it checking it out heard about it for a while it's called it calls itself the private social network for your neighborhood and it's really cool because you can sign up by the specific neighborhood neighborhood you're in so we're in the second ward and we're surrounded by like east downtown Edo, uh third ward and a few other neighborhoods that so we're connected to on our account the 12 surrounding neighborhoods including our neighborhood you can focus on just your specific neighborhood or you can widen the scope and you see posts from people that are categorized like classified general help wanted lost and found Um, all sorts of things. You can post events that go directly to these people in your community. Uh, And it just seems like a really great resource for what we're trying to do, which is show people how you can find the resources right within your own community and not needing to look for government or, you know, far away help. Um, And it seems to be working really well. We did an introductory post to telling people about the house and who we are and stuff and got a lot of responses on there. Uh, We've also seen some other posts where people talking about like, how they can, you know, how can we remove the homeless or how can we do this or how do we stop a break in? You know, there was one person posting about a break in and people were either resorting to calling the cops or trying to be violent themselves. So we propose forming a community neighborhood watch patrol. And I think that's really a big goal of ours to do to show that freedom cells with starting with the three of us. And then maybe now we'll have a freedom cell directly within our neighborhood instead of just people spread throughout Houston. Um, and we could do many top, many tasks, including taking turns walking around the neighborhood and just making sure everything's cool and helping where we can and not needing to rely on the cops and using these this technology, these apps like nextdoor.com and the freedomcell.org website and Cell 411, these different technologies to promote this decentralized way of living that doesn't have to involve cops and third parties. So it's really cool because the app itself is awesome, but we're using it as a way to spread our ideas. Um, So we're gonna form that neighborhood watch community patrol. We also were asked by someone if we'd be willing to come talk to like a neighborhood civic association about the house and what we're doing here. So we're waiting to hear back about that and that seems like a really exciting thing to do. And if we can film that, we'll show you guys that. And that's gonna be, you know, something I hope that you guys will get more involved in because Overall, what we're talking about, you know, the changing banks to credit unions or growing your own food and selling products, we want to do this in a counter-economic way, taking money and power away from the banks, away from the state, uh, away from, you know, this Federal Reserve System and this control system, and also empowering ourselves through this neighborhood connection, like we're talking about with Nextdoor.com, because we're seeing a lot of division in the country. We want to promote community building. Um, and we want you guys to be active in this. We don't want it just to be a show where you kind of watch what we're doing. So if anything, what we want to emphasize at this episode is to get involved and show us what you guys are doing. Send us your videos of uh, the freedom cells you're forming or the you know different things you may be doing. I think each of us have some ideas that we'd like to share with ways that you guys can get involved. I'd like to have a call to action. If you're using a bank that you have problems with, that you as a, as a person who's researched anything about banks or big banks, anything they've done, or uh, I challenge you first to research your bank actually. <laughs> and then uh, if you don't like what you see, uh, I, I challenge you to find an alternative. So call to action, post your videos, uh, just make a post in general and uh, show us what you got. Yeah, even if you're just stuffing your money under your mattress, that's probably better than using any of these banks. My call to action is I've been overwhelmed by the amount of fruit uh, we've been given to help brew our kombucha. Uh, three or four different people are uh, have trees in their yard and they're just unloading all these oranges and grapefruits and lemons and all this on us. 
and it's fantastic because it's probably 100 bucks worth of fruit so my call to action is go and sign up on nextdoor.com and engage in barter just if you have a fruit tree in your yard or if you have anything you want you want to sell a couch you want to get rid of or baked goods you want to make just sign up and go nuts and then show us like take picture evidence and put it in our, the thread below our video and let's see what you got awesome yeah and I, I guess for me i'd like to just encourage everyone out there to um, to get more active in in this sort of community building. So if you're going to be sending videos of quitting banks or sending in videos of you connecting to your community, that's what we're trying to do here. Get active in this this movement, this freedom cell uh, concept. Maybe join nextdoor.com and show us you know how how that helps how that works for you. Uh, the cool thing about it is you know it, it doesn't have to involve um, community watches necessarily. It can be as simple as selling some product that you make or connecting with a neighbor. I've seen people saying, I have, uh, I need a ride to work. You know, I have, I found a lost dog, different things. And it's a, a really powerful way for us to connect on the local level and show that we don't need to rely on people in faraway places, uh, bureaucrats in other places and government or corporate officials to tell us how to run our lives. Uh, but it's going to take a little bit of work. It's going to take us getting involved, not just talking about the ideas. So we really want to encourage you guys not to just watch what we're doing. We hope that you watch, but hopefully you're moved to a place of action and can start letting us know what you're doing. Thank you guys for, for watching again. We'll be back soon. We've got lots of stuff coming. All the things we just talked about, we'll keep you updated on that and new projects coming in the new year. We really appreciate the support. If you want to help help us do what we do, you can sign up to support us on a monthly basis through patreon.com slash freethinkerhouse. And we're going to start doing, we did one podcast. We're going to try to keep that up on a regular basis and maybe think of some new other ideas that we can give to you guys, some projects we can do specifically for those of you who support us on a monthly basis. Um, so thank you. Peace. Peace.